Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today is a full face of First Impressions Day. And these are, ooh, these are one of my favorite days to be alive because I love getting to play around with a ton of new makeup with you guys and just like sit down, chill out, and just like enjoy it. Like I don't know what it is about full face First Impressions that just literally complete my heart and soul, but I'm here for it. All right, I got my hair good and put back, ready for some application, and let's go ahead and talk about primer first, shall we? Because I have two that I am so excited about. These I both picked up during the Ulta sale. This is from LC Cosmetics, and this is their Glow Enhancer Dry Face Oil. And then over here from Cover FX, I have their Dewy Skin Hydrating Primer. And I'm really excited to test out both of these. They were both really highly rated and very on sale. Sign me up. Oh, LC Cosme. Are you kidding me with how pretty this is? Hold on, y'all need to see. Hold on, I gotta get closer. Hold on, hold on. I mean, do you guys see this? Am I the only one, like... Look at how beautiful that is. Hello? Like, I'm lost in her eyes, in her gaze. She has me. So let's go ahead here and move on to application. Ooh, guys, look at how pretty that looks. I love that I just stopped talking and I was like, let me just apply some. So I'm only going to put this on this side of the face and I'm not using any Tatcha today because I'm going to be going in with a normal foundation and I want to get to look at both of these primers underneath of it. Wow, this feels so so freaking nice on the skin holy cow i feel like it instantly just like sucks into your face and looks so healthy oh my word what is happening okay so i went ahead and i took a little bit of the cover fx one out that has a very interesting smell what the hell's in that hyaluronic acid nourishes and helps hydrate the skin leaves a dewy finish okay great what kind of stanks in it though what kind of stanks a little bit i don't know i'm not a scientist i can't read that box it's got all kinds of words on it i don't know but like there's a little bit of a stank to it. Like, it's not awful. I have to get really close to smell it. But, like, once you smell it, you can't unsmell it. You know what I'm trying to say? Ooh, girl. Let's go ahead here. I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny amount. And I'm going to focus it primarily over my cheek region. And then take what's left over and kind of work it up onto the nose. Oh, my word. Okay, so that is so hydrating. Like, comparing the two sides, this is, like wow intense like hydrating dewy moisturizer like it feels the way that it settles into your skin is more of like a serum but it also leaves like the slip of an oil like this is wow hydrating holy shnikes for foundation really quickly i'm going to take a mix a little bit of my dose of colors meet your hue foundation i figured since how we're playing with their concealer we can also play around with their foundation so i'm going to be taking the shades 105 fair and 110 light mixing them together and applying them all over the face all right and i just went ahead and i applied that primarily here with my morphe gel Jeffree Star brush and of course everything I use today will be affiliate linked down below but now that I've went in with that I do like to go over with my sponge this is my dose of color sponge and I like to press everything in to the skin just to make sure it looks nice and seamless so now from here we're gonna go ahead and grab the dose of colors concealer I grabbed this in shade 03 fair and on the back here it says that this is their multitasking full coverage concealer it has a lightweight easy to blend formula it conceals dark under eye circles blemishes and other skin imperfections okay I actually think that this color is going to be just about perfect oh we have a big old beefy dough tip yes please honey oh uh, yep that's like my perfect color okay Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so that applies so nice and creamy. I like the fact that on the little doe foot, I'm getting a nice amount, but I'm not getting too much. And I really love how creamy this spreads onto the skin. And as you guys know, anytime I play around with concealer, I always like to kind of map out my face a little bit. Oh, wow. I love the way that that's blending in. Holy cow. That's mixing in to my foundation so nicely, which, yes, obviously, it's their foundation too, but... Dang, that looks nice. All right, so now from here, we're going to go in with this. This is actually from Makeup Revolution, and this is their um, foundation stick that they came out with, their Fast Base Stick Foundation in F13. And I heard a lot of people love to cream contour with this because the color is so beautiful. And I did do a review on this so, so long ago, back when my skin was super, super oily, and it did not in any way, shape, or form work for me. But I've seen a lot of people talk about how cream contouring with this is just absolutely amazing amazing because it's so creamy. The color isn't going to be perfect for me, but I think if I blend it out, I think I can make it work. So we're just going to try it out. I mean, honestly, what's the worst that could happen here? Like, it looks bad? Okay. <laughs> like, I've never looked bad before. Shocker. I think it was on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. <laughs> 21 Days of Beauty sale. You, you couldn't understand me? I'm shocked. I completely and totally guessed on this color, so like, if it's way wrong, we can all laugh together, but I don't know. I feel like if I blend it in, it should work okay. It might be a touch warm, but you know what? Okay. That just blended in like a freaking dream. Like, look at how like perfectly bronzed my face is. 
Okay. And then real quick, I'm just grabbing a little bit more concealer and using that to kind of help shape in the uh, depth that I just added to the outer V, as well as go in and pat out the creases on my under eye. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting the face, the under eye, all of that. I grabbed this from Morphe, and it is their Bake and Set Setting Powder, and I grabbed it in the shade Translucent. It says on the back, Bakes and Sets Makeup for a shine-free finish, oil-absorbing formula, selfie approved. Okay. Go ahead and just take a little look here. It does appear to have a slightly off-white kind of yellowy undertone. Not mad at that. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna repat out both of my under eyes, and I'm going to lightly press in some of this powder. Gotta make sure that we set it down before it wrinkles again, girl, and I'm 30, so it's wrinkling real fast. So we're gonna go ahead and beat out the Hulk wrinkle, my big old beastie wrinkle up here. We're gonna set him too. And then from there, we're just gonna move on and lightly set the T-zone. And while everything is baking down here and uh, solidifying nicely onto my face, we are going to skip over to brows. Picked up this little kit here from Morphe. This is their Arch Obsessions five-piece brow kit, and I grabbed it in the shade Latte. And I picked it up mainly because I wanted to just revisit their products because I haven't touched their brow stuff in a while and I really thought that this kit was like a nice kind of feel for what they offer. For me, pomades, I think they're really nice, but they do look a little bit too harsh on me, so I don't use them a ton. Um, I'm not a big fan of translucent brow gel, which is what this is. And I'll give it a go today, but it's not like my favorite. I'll probably go in with something with color just because I don't have a lot of brow hair, so like I need every little wispy hair to count. And then they also come with this little highlight stick right here for like highlighting your brow bone, and it's actually very, very creamy. The color I don't think would work on me. It's a little bit too deep for what I would need but again the consistency is very nice you do get a brow pencil and latte which these are fantastic I've used these a ton and you get this little um, brow pencil which is really really nice as well if you're like me and you use powder brows or pomades or anything like that this is great I feel like maybe I should try the pomade even if it's just like a little bit just for like a little definition like I'm a little bit nervous to do it because I haven't done it in so long but like it's right in front of me. Oh, you know what? I'll try it. I'll give it a go. Let's just test the formula. Let's test the water a little bit. It feels really nice and creamy. Wow. Okay. Whew, I'm nervous. I have not used a pomade in probably two years. So let's go ahead and just like kind of start feathering it lightly through the brows a little bit. And I think my goal is going to be doing it nice and light but not like overdoing it. Okay, I hate this tail. Where is it going? Off to Cincinnati, no thank you. Paige, we need to we need to rein this brow in a little bit. Oh my God. Go ahead and give ourselves a little brow definition in the front. It's not awful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run off of camera. I'm going to do my brows because I can't concentrate. I'm going to conceal them, do all the things, and I'll be right back and we'll talk some more, but like I, I gotta, I just gotta get this under control because <laughs> it's getting me a little bit. Oh, okay guys, I am back. That was, <coughs> that was a situation. Now I remember why I don't use dip brow gels. That was, I, like, I don't know what it is with me and a dip brow gel. I feel like I have no control and I just, woo I end up looking like Ronald friggin' McDonald like that. Like, honey, I love me a good Diet Coke. Hello. Girl will represent, okay? Girl will represent all day long drinking her Diet Coke with light ice from McDonald's, but do I really want my brow to look like this? absolutely not like I got in I got some control I think they look okay I'll probably end up critiquing them seven more times but like me and pomades I, it would take so much more practice for me to like really get back into it but I did it we're good now I went ahead and I tried to like reshape them a little bit they don't exactly match but like it's close enough for right now um I did go in as well with their clear brow gel and then I went over top of it with my ABH dark brown because here's the thing this as a clear brow gel does do exactly what it should do it really does a great job at like lifting and solidifying your lashes like you put this in girl they aren't going like hurricane status they are stuck there which is really Really nice but I just need a little bit of color and definition but for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into these brushes now these are from the brand refer and I think god I hope I'm saying that correctly um, but these are what we're gonna be playing around with a little bit as well today and this is brush number five and it feels so luxurious and again they did send these to me and I want to use this to just like sweep my bake away and the rest of my face as far as texture and set wise goes it feels really nice it doesn't um, have a ton of like moisture sitting on the surface it's pretty much set down so I'm just gonna lightly take a little bit of this and use it to set my face without hopefully oversetting it. And then from there, guys, we're moving on to the main event. Why do you think we're so close? Why do you think we're living our best life? Because, honey, we got the new Moonspell collection from Lunar Beauty. I think I called this Love Spell earlier. 
whoops, don't care. Guys, I am so freaking excited. Manny sent this over. He sent the palette, both of the liquid lips, and the lip gloss for this collection. And guys, when Manny sends you a lip gloss, oh, you just fall in love. You don't even ask any questions. You're just like, thank you, sir. May I have another? Yes, please, because his glosses are so good. So let's first of all talk about this palette. Oh, my word. The packaging and the detailing on his stuff is, like, look at that. It's so, so good, and I love it because it's so reflective. It's throwing my white balance all over the place. I apologize. I don't have a professional setup, and I don't need one because look at this book. Oh, my God. It's so good. And then, guys, look at these colors. They are so freaking beautiful, and I know a lot of you guys were like, oh, I'm getting, like, spring vibes. Like, why is he releasing that right now? And I can totally see that. Like, I think that's a very fair take to kind of come away with when you look at this palette, but when I look at this, I really appreciate the fact that he put out something that's different for this time of year, and also, I would just like to draw attention to one little thing, girl. This shade right here, the shade name on that, it's Paige. Booyah! That's my shade. I got a shade named after me. I mean, did he actually name it after me? Like, I mean, maybe he didn't, but I'm gonna say he did. Just like the shade next to me is Phoebe, and we're gonna go with Phoebe Buffay from Friends, because he wants me and Phoebe Buffay to be friends. Who doesn't want to be friends with Phoebe Buffay? Like, I know what's up, obviously. Also, who's on the other side of me? Sabrina. Who doesn't want to be friends with Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I mean, come on. 12-year-old Paige is quaking. I'm sorry, does that say Hermione? Like, why am I so far away from her? Girl, Manny, we need to do some playing around because I really should have been up by Hermione. <gasps> Winifred? Oh my God, the Sanderson sisters. We have Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. Ooh, girl, why am I not in a row with them? Okay, like, yes, I want to be friends with Phoebe Buffay and Sabrina, but like, I really feel like I should have just been here, like right in the middle, and then everybody else could have circled around me. <laughs> what an idea. Wow, okay, anyways, let's go ahead and play with this, shall we? I know I lost it there for a second, but I'm getting it back. Whew, I gotta calm down. Woo! All right, so let's go in first here. We have some tart shape tape as our base. We're gonna throw that down, make her round. You guys know the drill. All right, so I think I'm gonna start off by taking Sarah here through the crease. We're just gonna work her in. I have a Morphe E23 brush, and we are just going to lightly work it all the way through the crease just to set it down and give us a nice little base transition. Okay, so now from here, guys, we're just gonna go in. Like, I have a transition. I was being nice and safe, but it's time to take my name, my shade, the shade page, and we're gonna grab that on this Refer Brush 01 here. And we are just going to like, oh, <laughs> we're going to have some fun. And uh, we're going to just like start applying it. And I think I'm going to just pack it all over the lid. I feel like this shade, which by the way is absolutely stunning. The opacity is beautiful. I feel like it has a nice like satin finish and it really maintains the vibrancy on your lid, which is just gorgeous. I think what I'm going to do actually with that same brush is I'm going to grab a little Sabrina, which is right next door. And I'm going to put that on the inner and outer. V just for like a little bit of added depth and then when I have a little bit left over on the tip of the brush here I'm just lightly kind of folding it into the crease as well we just take a second and like look at these this this is a horrible decision you're giving me here Manny why would you do this to me why would you make me try to choose between these we have Piper which is so like look at that look at that oh my god hello then you have which one is this this one's phoebe which I love hold on I'm putting it over top of foundation so it might look a little bit weird but that's phoebe Oh, I love Phoebe. Okay, and then we also have this one, which I think is Prue, and it is like a beautiful kind of glittery shimmer. <gasps> like, I could layer all three of the. Why don't I layer all three of those? Oh, my God, I'm a genius. Hello? Pff, obviously, that's what we're doing. Okay. Don't even know. Guys, I didn't need to do half of the work I just did on my eyes. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. We're going to go in first. No glitter glue or anything, and we're going to take Piper, and this is definitely a darker shade, so I'm just going to lightly kind of pack it onto my eye and dissolve it a little bit here with my finger. Also, real quick, I have to do this just because it's driving me absolutely crazy. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Page, and I'm going to throw that on the lower lash line just a little bit here because I have to have something down there. Like, I don't care what I do later, but I just look so weird without some color. I feel so unbalanced. Zero, where is my glitter glue? The Lord took me away from you. And seriously, where's my glitter glue? All right, guys, I found it. This is my little NYX glitter glue here. This stuff is fan-freaking-tastic if you are like me. If you're like, hey, girl, I can't ever get anything to show up on my eyelids. My shimmers won't stay put. I'm having all kinds of problems. I'm using a primer. Nothing seems to help. Get yourself the NYX glitter glue for your shimmers. I am telling Telling you it will be the best five dollars you ever spend so many of you guys leave it in the comments page I tried it it changed my makeup game not everyone could be wrong it's something not a lot of people talk about and almost nobody else does on the internet so do it you will not regret it let's move on but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that glitter glue here and I'm gonna pop it in the center of my eye 
just nice and light here all over except for pretty much the ends like the inner and outer corner and then I'm gonna go in and start to layer so we're gonna grab the shade Phoebe oh that's so good I'm just lightly tapping a little bit of it up toward the brow bone I'm not taking a ton up there but just a little bit of light going right up will help open up my eye and then over top of that we're gonna throw a little bit of this shade the shade prue and I'm not gonna grab any additional glue or anything I'm just gonna layer those together because they both have a very similar <gasps> undertone and my god is that good oh my god all right guys so I almost never do this I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter glue here and I'm gonna grab the number three brush from refer and I am going to put a little bit of that glitter glue down right under my tear duct like right into this region then I'm gonna dive into the shade prue which obviously is more on the glittery side hence why I needed the glue and I'm going to just lightly kind of pack that down here oh my god like that is so good now to bridge that little gap between the shimmer and the purple that I worked under here I'm gonna take a little bit of Phoebe just like I did up top and I'm going to just kind of press that in up along the lash line there it's something that'll be a nice little in-person transition I don't think it'll show up a ton on camera but again, on person, it'll be nice and impactful. Wow, that's pretty. All right, guys, so now that we are zoomed out, eye look is done. We need to do something about this face because I am looking so flat, Stanley, especially compared to the nice purple lids that I have. So let's go ahead and do some bronzer and blush. I grabbed these guys from ColourPop. Now, these are not new, nor are they new really to my collection, but I did see them sitting over yonder. They were nice and lonely. I haven't used them in a long time, and I thought, what a better day than today. So this one right here is in the shade California Dreamin'. This is the bronzer we will be using. Here is a nice little swatch of the bronzer I think the tone will be really really nice to apply this bronzer I'm gonna be using this right here this is from it cosmetics and it is their 202 flawless powder brush now this is very significant because for those of you that have been watching me for a while you know that I always use the same duo fiber brush I love it so much and it's something that you really can't get from it cosmetics unless it's in a kit and I don't even know if they still make the kit anymore so I picked this brush up just to see if it would be a similar option so obviously you don't have to buy a kit because I have had so many of you you guys that want to try the duo fiber route and it's literally the only duo fiber that I have ever found that I love the way it applies my bronzer and I'm hoping that this one will work as well oh wow I actually love the blend of this brush like the bronzer is really beautiful too obviously ColourPop does a great job but like Wow, this is a really nice brush. Okay. It's not quite as flimsy as the other one that I have, but it's honestly so good. Like, I think that after using this a few times to really break it in, I think it'll be exactly what I need. Now, out of these two blushes, I think I'm going to grab this one right here. This is the shade Rom Com. Like, look at this color. Isn't that so beautiful? Let's go ahead and swatch it. It's like a nice kind of light pinky nude shade, which I think will be good because our eye look is a little bit out there. It's just a nice little calm moment. And we're going to apply this with the Refer 04 brush here. I'm just going to lightly work it up onto the cheek. Again, I'm not going to be overly aggressive with it, but I do want to work it in nicely. Just real quick to a message about these uh, brushes here. I think I might have been pronouncing them incorrectly this whole time. I sent them a message over on Instagram and I was like, hey guys, how do I say your name before I screw it up? And they said it's refer, at least that's what I thought, as in reference or referee. And so I think it's actually ref refer or refer, refer, refer. I keep calling them refer. And then what I love about it though, he actually went on to explain, he said, because we use artists and customer feedback as a reference point to create our products. First of all, what a brilliant name. Like, hello, I love that so much. Looking on their website and just kind of reading about them, you guys know me. I love to be a nerd and like know all about customers and companies and stuff. And it says that this brand was created by three engineers who knew very little about makeup, but they were founded on a firm belief that the best way to design world-class products is by humbly and patiently listening to the people that will be using them. And that's actually how I ended up with these brushes is that they send them to influencers all over, like not just big ones, not just like, you know, I have 4 million subscribers. No, they send them to smaller influencers like me. They send them to makeup artists. They send them to mid-range and high-end. Like they send them to everyone. And then also I found out later that that they started off as a Kickstarter campaign and they actually had over a half a million dollars pledged to their Kickstarter for these brushes and I think they were only looking for like five thousand dollars or something like that so they ended up with according to their website here with two thousand eighty percent pledge so like that much over and above of what they needed anyways guys real quick I need to get back on track I have literally been talking to myself for like 20 minutes and I haven't done a damn thing so I'm gonna take a little bit of my ABH powder obviously this isn't new but it is very very bright and I am just going to lightly pack a little bit of this under my eyes just to give them back a little bit of brightness. 
because they're just looking a little bit dull and that's probably just because I had um, so many like new products on them and they need to just be rebrightened and not a big deal All right real quick before we start playing around with any version of highlight I'm gonna take my morphe setting spray here and just give myself a little spurts mm. All right guys, so for highlight I screwed up just a little bit like these are what I pulled <laughs> not even close to what I need for today um, These are from Fenty. These are two of the kilowatts Obviously, they are not the new highlight and I'm sorry about that one I didn't pick it up mainly because I don't think I'd get a lot of use out of it But it is the new like diamond dust one. It has like pink little speckles in it That would have been perfect with this eye look however I don't have it so I grabbed these thinking they might work and alas They will not because the pink one far far too dark that one is in the shade What a brat and then the blue one here is in chills and yeah neither of those will work so never mind on that let me just go ahead and grab something else it's fine it's fine it's fine Ooh, any excuse I can get to use my Rage Loves Pixie palette guys I use this all the time and I think the shade Lace is calling my name so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here this is my Morphe JH08 and we are going to just lightly tap in here and apply this to my face this highlight is so intense, but it's so beautiful. Oh my God, yes, honey. Hello, highlight, my old friend. It's nice to play with you again. That looks absolutely stunning, wow. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and spray the face. I don't have any new sprays, so we're gonna grab a little bit more Morphe. Ah, oh, just never gets old, honey. And then I'm also letting myself crack open a brand new, fresh little Catrice Dewy Glow setting spray. I love this so much. And then for mascara, I'm playing around with this guy. This is from Lancome. It is the Masseur Big Mascara. And I haven't played with this in a long time. And obviously I did get this, if you missed it, at the Ulta sale when they did their 21 Days of Beauty. And I just thought it would be so fun to play around with this again because I haven't done it in so long. All right, you guys, so I went ahead off of camera. I finished up the rest of my face. I figured it would just be easier than turning the camera on and off all while my eye was watering. So let's go ahead and have a little conversation. As you can see right here, I do have some swatches. These are the other three lip products that Manny sent over that were released with this collection. And obviously, I am not wearing either of these two liquid lips. One is black, one is red. I love the packaging. The color is beautiful. They are super rich in opacity. So if that is something you are into as far as the color story goes, you will not be disappointed. His products, when it comes to lips, I they are stunning out of these three products you see on my hand right here my clear favorite honey is this gloss Manny your gloss Mwah. absolute perfection guys this is so good the way it sits on your lips it sits down like a cross between a lip gloss and a lip oil it's so beautiful it is highly reflective a little goes a long way and I put just a little bit of that over top of this lip liner which I did pick up a ton of these during the Ulta sale as well this is the buxom lip liner in Dolly Danger so as far as my thoughts and opinions go just to give you a real brief overview I think everything went very very well whether it was primer eyeshadow whatever I used it all performed pretty nicely there was only a couple of little things that I wasn't a fan of and I think the biggest culprit would have to be this morphe powder I feel like it's just a little too drying on my under eye like the way that it emphasized my texture and I've even went in now with both of the sprays you guys saw me play with and normally those would help combat that they would help kind of give it a little hydration back and I just can't seem to fix whatever's going on here but you guys that is it for this video let me know all of your thoughts again down in the comments what do you think what do you like what don't you like leave it all down there if you haven't checked me out on Instagram and on Twitter they are both linked in the description and of course, the most important thing, you guys, if you like me, you like my style, and you want to come back for more, please subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, beautiful people. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Jet engine. I need a primer. Stop it. And I'm so excited because I have a new concealer from Dose of Colors. I have the entire Lunar... 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 Kicking it back to the old school because I'm an old fool who's so cool. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Guess what, guys? Guess what? It's time for a fill for a fill for a fill for a Oh my god, that looks so... Oh my god. Oh, I just had a heart attack. Guys, my little eye napkin, because my eyes keep watering, it just fell on my foot. I thought it was a spider, and I literally almost died. Hit the roof. Could have died. Could have been killed. Oh my god. Check one down. Pass it around. Na-na-na. Bottles of beer on the wall.